Next, let us start with our first computer arithmetic, which is serial multiplication. Before we start with serial multiplication, let us recap the way we do longhand multiplication. The steps in longhand multiplication is as follows. First, we start with LSB in the multiplier. If it is a big one, add multiplicand to product by aligning to the current LSB that is being considered in the multiplier. Otherwise, we add zero. Next step, we go to the next LSB on the left in the multiplier. And then we repeat step two and three, which is adding multiplicand to product by aligning to the LSB and then we move to the next one. So we repeat these two steps for all bits in multiplier. Then the product is the final result of the addition in step two. So let us take one example, multiplication with longhand. Let's say we are multiplying 13 and five, 1101 and 0101. 5 is the multiplier, 13 is the multiplicand. We start with LSB in the multiplier. The first LSB is 1, so we just take the multiplicand and add it to the partial product here, the first line. We align with the bit that we are considering. Next, LSB. On the left is zero. So we don't do anything. We go to the next LSB. It is one. So we copy the multiplicand again, but now it is not a simple copy, but we copy and align with the bit that we are considering, which means there are actually two unwritten zeros over here. And then the last LSB or actually MSB in this case is zero, so we don't do anything. So what is left to get the final product is by adding the two partial product to get the final one. So then what is serial multiplier? Serial multiplier is the algorithm that mimics the longhand multiplier that we were discussing just now, except instead of moving the LSB in concern to the left, the entire bits of partial product, which later we'll see that we'll put in register A and multiplier, register Q, are shifted to the right. because we are going to consider the same LSB position in register Q. So effectively, the process is still the same. A very rough data flow diagram can be used to show how this works. We have register A and register Q to keep multiplier and register M to keep the multiplicand and then we have sort of a very simple 
ALU over here to do shift and L depending on the value of LSB of register Q. We call it Q0 over here. And then the addition of register A and multiplicand will be put back into register A. If the addition has carried, so the carry will put in a one bit register C over here. And then we are going to shift this, the entire nine bit register over here, four plus four plus one to the right until we do it four times because we have four bit in each of multiplicand and multiplier. Let us take one example. Now we are multiplying 13 and 11. 13 is the multiplicand, 11 is the multiplier. This is the initial stage. This A is zero, carry is also zero. So we look at LSB in Q, which in this case is a big one. If it is so, we add multiplicand to register A. So 13 add to 0, we get 13, no carry. And after we adding M to A, we have to shift one bit to the right. So in this case, the carry will go to MSB of A and then diagonally MSB of A going to the second MSB and so on diagonally and the LSB of A will be going to the MSB of Q and diagonally and the last bit or LSB of Q will be thrown away. And again we look at the value of Q0 or LSB in Q after shifting. It is still 1, so we are adding again the multiplicand 1101 to register A, which is now is 0110. We add with 1101, we get 0011, and there is a carry. After adding, we need to shift. So we get in register Q, 1110, and register A, 1011, because the carry goes into MSB of A. Then for the next iteration, again we look at the value of LSB of Q. Now it is 0. Since it is 0, we don't have to add multiplicand to A. We just shift. So shifting is done every time or in every iteration, but addition of multiplicand from M to A is done only if the LSP of Q was 1 in the previous iteration. Then after shifting without adding in the third iteration, LSB in Q is again 1. So we have to add multiplicand again 1101 to 0100. We get 0001 and a carry of 1. After that, in the last iteration, we also need to shift it. So this is the final product. So let us give the official steps for serial multiplier after we have gone through the example just now. First, we have to initialize register M with multiplicand, Q with multiplier, register A with zero and also the carry with zero. If LSB in Q is one, then add register M to A 
any carry will go into carry register. After that, she write the carry into register A and register A into register Q. It's a one bit shift write. And then we repeat step two and three for all bits in register Q. So finally, the product is in the combination of the final content of register A and register Q.